everyone and welcome to my channel today I want to share with you this project that I created for Valentine's Day and uh, it is like an advent calendar but this time it will be for Valentine's so I have 14 little boxes and then on top I made a bow and I have decorations all around it so I'm gonna um, fix my camera and so I can explain everything that it's going on in this project, okay? I was the only way for you to see uh, this uh, cutie standing. And uh, so here it is. I added these 14 letters over here and this were cut with my Cricut machine. And I also added a bunch of um, embellishments some of them are store-bought uh, that I've uh, had them on my stash and others are handmade. So there is a lot of things going on here. So I have some pom-poms over here in this corner. And I just use my uh, hot glue to put them over there uh, as a cluster. Then in this level, I have this tiny rose that I handmade using my paper punch and then the leaves are made with one of my dies for my stash then this cute bow is a paper punch and it is made with this stamping up punch and i think this is from the newest catalog and then i added some uh, white gel pen in all the border so it will look even better then over here I have this uh, paper rosette that has a heart in the center. In this other side I have this cute envelope with the word love. And for this envelope I used this, um, this die from my stash. And then for the cute bow that you see over here I used this pink and main die. Then again, I have another of my handmade flowers, and in this other side, I have these felt stickers, a flower, and the XO letters. And then in this other side, I have um, this uh, honeycomb heart. And for the base, all I did was to cut two pieces of paperboard and then use the, um, the paper from the collection. This is a Recollections paper pad that I got at Michael's. And then I am using this uh, tag over here that says for you. And this is a C6 die that I got from uh, scrapbook.com. And it came as a gift in one of my purchases over there. And I think it looks adorable and perfect for this project. And then on top of it, I have this cute bow. And this is an SVG file from uh, my scrapchick.com. And then again in the center, I added one of my handmade flowers and these beautiful leaves made with my dice. So these boxes, all of them open um, in the front part. And inside of each one, uh, you, you can put chocolates or little notes or anything that you can think of. Uh, if you are making one of these as a present for one of your crafty friends, you can uh, put a ton of stuff inside of these boxes. They are two by two inches and they're a perfect square. So I made these boxes using my Cricut machine with regular cardstock and then on top I layered in every single side different uh, pieces of the paper collection and I think they look just adorable. So in case you don't have any die uh, to make the box or um, die cutting machine to make the box all you need is a piece of paper, your scissors, some glue, and your scoreboard. Okay? So let's make one together. What you need is a piece of paper or cardstock measuring six, six and a half inches by 
eight and a half okay so what you need to do is that on the on the six and a half inches aside you're gonna score at a quarter two and a quarter four and a quarter and six and a quarter and then on the eight and a half side you're gonna uh, score at two four six and eight okay so after you score you need to uh, cut all your pieces and what you're gonna do is that you're gonna cut in all these score lines to the first horizontal one so you're gonna have cuts over here and cuts over here okay and what you need to do is that this piece that you scored and then you're gonna cut needs to look like this okay so after you have your piece like this you are going to crease all the score lines like this and if you see in this piece i made some arrows because that means that this part is going to be glued to this side and you're going to have your box and then this solder you're going to glue it when the box is built in order to seal the bottom of the box and this is what you're going to have so everything is going to be glued down and this is going to be your box and you can put it in any direction that you want mine are like this because i think it's easier to open and close them and this is your box i think it's super easy and uh, with everything that you might have in your stash already and this is a cute project because this can be a gift let me get my camera uh, fixed again so you can look at all the project here it is i think this is a great great project to create for a present with everything and let me uh, see that i didn't do but i'm gonna tell you that this one is 11 inches and a half by five and a half almost six eleven and a half by six inches so it's a little bit tall but i think that this would be an amazing uh, gift for someone special and uh, you can decorate every single box if you want but since my paper was uh, kind of busy with all the designs i decided not to uh, put uh, embellishments in all the uh, in all the corners and I just uh, use uh, uh, in some corners and then some of the uh, flaps over here but this is a great idea I had a lot of fun making these boxes and putting the project together and I really hope that you enjoy what you are seeing so this is my share for today Thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe, like and comment and click the notifications bell so you know when a new video is up. And I will be back very soon with more Valentine's projects to share with you and I really hope to see you very soon. Bye!